In this video, we will introduce one of nine key new features added in RED 841, available late July 2019. This enhancement is the ability to auto-generate the update routine for objects deployed in an application. Prior to this version of RED, objects deployed from a 3D application need manual regeneration of their update routine. It was time consuming to identify the objects deployed from a 3D application and they needed to manually multi-select the options and run code rebuild. This was exasperated with source mapping objects where previously you were unable to list source mapping objects for more than one table. Also, as the template was not defined for the incoming objects, this had to be set per object during the code rebuild step. Setup Administrator now has an option to automatically generate the routine for incoming objects. For 3D applications, this new option is set to true. For red applications, the default option is set to false. As to use this feature, they must have targets set in the application and the connection must have their default templates set. This feature only applies for template based code generation and there's an auxiliary option where it auto generates indexes should your target database type require indexes. It's important to note that this feature is only available if the default gen spec satisfies the requirements of the template. So here I've got a basically empty target repository and I've used the new version of Wearscape 3D to create a deployment application. You can see here that I've set the target for my objects and these targets are going to map to red targets. So I've set up my application that I'm using to have a SQL Server target. So for my target connection for SQL Server, I've defined three target locations, load, stage and vault. And for my data vault object types, I've set what template I'm going to use for those type and subtypes. It's important to note that if you're using template based script generation for load objects that this is set on the source connection and not on the target connection. So if I swap now to setup administrator I've got my 3D model deployment model I'm going to install it into my read repository. And you can see here there's a new object for the generation of scripts and load scripts and update routines for ob objects, and that's set to true. That's the default for 3D applications, and as we said before, for read applications, the default is false. Because I'm using a SQL Server target. I could generate indexes as well. So I deploy my application as normal. I have some errors because I'm using a MySQL target with some strange data types. But you can see here that my update routines are being generated for my incoming objects automatically. While that's importing, we can jump back to red.
and you can see there that my default template has been applied to this object and its update routine has been generated. So similarly for my hubs you can see the source mappings have been applied and again their default template is applied and it's generated the update routine for those as well. So that concludes this short introduction to this important feature to generate the update routines for objects imported from a 3D application in particular. For further information about the other changes added to the 841 release, please review the release notes available on the RED software downloads page from the Wearscape website. Thank you for reviewing this video.